Hello friends. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different of my usual videos. It's not like I have done many of them, but um yeah I wanted to do something related to something I truly love, which is book journaling. So book journaling has been one of my hobbies I think for a couple of months now it's been i believe i started at the beginning of the year and yeah it has been a roller coaster from then on so i don't have a theme or aesthetic i just like putting things together and you know go from there and in this journal I have a little bit of books, TV, and music. So through the time that I have been journaling, I have found things that work for me and things that do not. For example, this entire section does not work for me at all. At the beginning, I thought that it was a good idea, you know, to have everything that I have read placed down, as you can see. I attempted but it looks ugly as hell. And I was like, no, this is definitely not for me. So I stopped and then haven't done anything else, which sucks because this took me forever. Then we have new releases, which funny enough, I haven't filled out anything after that. I think that I only put these few names well, the first time that i set up this and completely forgot about it and because i'm lazy this section i didn't do it anything that has been crossed means that i already read it i try to continue and fill it out as much as possible i'm gonna of course like i said i'm gonna try to complete it because it's already there but yeah it's you know something that i try and didn't really enjoy didn't really see anything nice about it so it's just there to fill the pages then i put down all the physical books that i actually own and haven't read now i don't have that many if you really think about it i would say less than 50 i haven't really counted but i don't read physical books anymore i reread the ones that i own but other than that, I give myself to ebooks or audiobooks. Um, I do have a space to put more books, but I feel that unless I truly love a book, I don't buy more of them. So I read it Kindle. Okay. And if I really love them, I will buy them. But other than that, I keep myself to this small batch and hopefully read it by the end of the year or hopefully mid 2023 if not i'm gonna go ahead and donate them because i don't see a point on having all these books if i don't really read them then we start with january i usually go do um a cover i'm not really good at it i started at the beginning putting things down that i didn't really know if i truly like them but um yeah this is january and this is my favorite ring of the month. I usually put the cover and my favorite book of the month. So this month was volume 15 of the Sekai Shihatsukoi series, which I love. I have all the books of the series and I don't regret anything. It's wonderful, it's lovely, it's everything. Then I usually put like a what I read and like a little bit of a rumbling thoughts on the side just to have it and then i started with mortar skin by Lin, uh, lily ming i love this series usually what i do is i get pictures from let's say um tumblr google twitter i'm gonna try oh i put the ears I'm gonna try to leave links of where I found them, but if you find something that you're interested, 
I can of course find the uh, the page and provide it and I'm gonna try my best and compile a lot of them and then I do little reviews of the books they're not like oh my god this is amazing or oh my god this bell no it's just like holy crap I love this and holy mother I love this just you know rumbles of things and describing more or less an idea of what I love and why I love it so we have here my attempt at calligraphy which I suck at it and then movies that I like bell I really love the music really love the aesthetic the final was a little bit of a letdown but other than that i really enjoyed it um tv shows such as my name also amazing and then wrap ups i tried to do my wrap up and show a little bit of what i read what i did then we have the cover for february what i read i usually do this little list what I put everything, my favorite read of the month, my music, and then Rambling Thoughts, Primal Scene by Ariana Nash, one of the best trilogies, Angels and Demons, Best of 2022. I try to put this at the beginning, as I said this before, um, I'm new to this, so I'm doing what works for me and what doesn't and I'm learning this I would love to be different but right now this is what I have and then book bingo which you know is a bingo for books um, and then I started putting down what I read Seaside Stranger which is really lovely different series by different authors that I totally love then we have Fruit Baskets, which is, in my opinion, one of the best series in this universe. And everyone should read it. There's 12 volumes, and I started reading them little by little in February. This is so cute. And then I try to always match like, the colors to the book. Just to have it there, you know, matching, matching. Moth, my favorite book of this month i just love everything about this book it's it's so cute like look at that it's so cute it's so cute so yeah and then we have more mangas i love reading mangas and i especially love boy loves so a lot of bl you're gonna find here high school Mangas that I read and I still love. Another wrap up. And then we come to March. I also collect, and some people may notice this, comes from another journal that I bought. I just, you know, fill out the doodles that were already there. And then we have Best Friend, and then this. I attach it with this one because I skip a page without noticing but yeah these are the books that I read that month my rambling, rambling thoughts and I love printing Polaroids for me that's the best and I have a lot of them so I might as well use them this man oh, this manga is so cute oh I skip one oh fruit basket truly truly beautiful volumes two and three my androgynous boyfriend volumes two and three the art here is a spectacular more books oh I also put, like I said, TV shows. This is my ID, is Blind Man Beauty. This is a K drama, also lovely. And this too, Hometown Sha Sha Sha. I truly love this one. He is perfection. This was my first line. Hunter Sick, I'm sorry, I'm butchering names, names here, is by far one, if not the most 
charming male characters I have seen in a K-drama. He is so cute. And the drama is really sweet. I really like him. Then we have more fruit baskets. So one, four and five, I try to match like the little animals, like the little sheep, the little rooster, the seahorse. Because you know, Hattori, he's a seahorse. So Hero, he's a sheep. And then I read volumes 2, 3, and 4 of Sweet and Soap. I love this manga. Truly beautiful relationships, friendships, family, everything is top notch. And then we have a couple of boy love series. This one is Fall Guy, this one is Pushing the Limits, Wild Books. And then two more from the same series and then the inconvenient love by prior prescott i love this series it's, it's wonderful book two is the best in my opinion then we have a silent voice i love 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 this movie is so precious everything about it is just beautiful and these two Pelican Bay series is beautiful too, more than enough. And I love putting quotes. It's also wonderful. Whoa. Then we have another amazing series by Taylor B. Donovan. It was published, I believe, in 2014. I read it this year, pretty late, but you know, love it, love it, love it. And book three is coming, I believe, this year, hopefully next year, which I'm really excited for. I usually try to match, like I said, the pictures with what is happening, like police, because one of them is an agent. And then here also, one of the guys wears a lot of sweaters. So, yeah. And look at this. This washi tape, how pretty. And then we have books about dragons and of course heaven official blessing because hello i read the series in the app i watch netflix and i have the book so yeah you can tell that i'm a little bit obsessed the story is so beautiful the characters are beautiful the art is beautiful so yeah and this is my wrap up for march and this is the cover for April and then the best of April now by this point I already had like an idea of what worked for me so for me work wrap up from the previous month cover best of the month I I don't care for the calendar it's something that I already removed um what i read and rambling thoughts so yeah and then i start putting down what i love about the month this is a new author that i haven't read before isla no ausla ausla oh my god i'm so sorry her <laughs> i love her book so she's new from this year i discovered her book this year then we have this one which i also really really love and then we have the rest of the volume 5 to 11. come and see sweet i'm sorry a sweat and soap which in my opinion is beautiful beautiful series and then we have mad men by only james again i'm butchering all these names i'm sorry one of my favorite authors, you and me, also beautiful. Love this book. And then a business proposal, which came out in Netflix this year, and love it, love it, love it, love it. And Heartstopper, because oh my god, when I saw that it was the same as the books, I was so so happy. 
so happy with the casting with the story how they edit everything 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 was beautiful then we have bj alex which is an adult series if you're underage not recommendable for you very adult very sweet very angsty um yeah the scenes are a little bit age old teen so if you're on the age again i would not recommend it but it's an amazing series i'm waiting for the i bought all the korean um uh, i bought the korean series i'm waiting for the english translations to also buy them and then we have volume six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve from full basket which my god i cried in this last volume, I cried like a little girl because everything, well, everything. And then a little bit more of books, shows that I love because this is my first life. I really like this K-drama and then more of Miss Madden Mills, <laughs> Not My Romeo and Not My Match. Really love both of them. And then Bobo, which I watched at the release day. I felt that it was very pretty. Like the art was wonderful. The music was nice. Aesthetic, it was beautiful. But the story lacked and the ending was like meh. And it's not something that I would enjoy watching again. I think that this is the only time that I'm gonna watch it. But I did like how they had the Little Mermaid, you know, being part of this story. So that one was really nice. And we have more books, some music. And then we start, I believe the last month that I fill out this journal because of the lack of space. Um, here I mess it up. It should have been made here in this book here, but it's okay. The calendar, which I already removed from my new journal, what I read, rambling thoughts, and then this book. This book just broke me. Even now, I'm filming this in August. This is from May. Like this line, kiss me. Ilya wanted to say, kiss me and help me in front of all these people. Put me on stage and do it. I don't care anymore. Please, I'm dying. Like that, I'm dying. I was dying. And then sometimes Ilya was so st starved for love, for touch. He felt like screaming. He felt it most when she was close, like he was now, but of living. It's a secret relationship kind of thing. And it's everything. This book is everything. And I think it's gonna be my favorite book of the year. It's all, it's beautiful. Then I read Air Awakeness. Awakeness, Awakens, I believe it's pronounced. The first 70% of the book is a lot of explanation, and then everything that needs to happen happens in the last 30% of the book, which I was like, such a letdown. Dearly Despise, I love Alessandra Hosser, she's one of my favorite authors too. And then With Consent, she's a new author that I discovered this year, Cora Rose. I love this book, everything, and then. Uh, I believe that I finished the month with this duet and then took up two other books, volume three in this series. And yeah, that's it. I only had like four or five pages, which, you know, is nothing. So yeah, this is how thick it became. Like, wow, can I believe that I fill out all of this? What do you guys do for tracking? I already started a new journal. Let me show you guys this. Oh. So, yeah, I already started this one. But, yeah, this is all. Tell me, guys, have you read any of this? How do you guys keep track of your books? Tell me about it if you would like. Thank you.